And when we learn the movement, which is this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we can play with the shoulders or also add the head. All right? You can do it on the spot for practice. That's how we're going to start. So we're emphasizing on the cowbell sound. Again, I'll show you in a while. It's a very loud instrument. I'll try to play it soft. Now, if you're on two dancer, one, two, three, five, six, seven, you can start to the right, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then to the left. On one dancer, it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right? Now, broken down, what's happening there? It's not just a simple movement of forward and back. There's an accent to it. All right? So, first you start practicing by pushing forward the shoulder, the left, then the right, then the left, and you have three hits. One, two, three. But it's not enough, you need to go one, two, three. Put more accent on the third. One, two, three. So it's quick, quick, slow, with a powerful hit. And then you want to practice on the other side, starting with the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you don't want to have a balance. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you want to add the foot out, the foot up, or the whole leg into an inside edge point. The guys could get away with having the ball of the foot, but for the ladies, really point out your foot. And we have one, two, three. At the same time we hit the shoulder, we take out the leg. One, two, three. Then one, two, three, you switch. One, two, three, you switch. You can break it in between by moving shoulder, shoulder, then I start again. Shoulder, shoulder. One moves back and one forward. Okay, that's just for an extra. Now, how does this help us? In order to get that accent, the cowbell, this is how it goes throughout the salsa. Maybe sometimes it goes like that, but 95% out of the times it's one, three, five, seven on the big hit. Sorry if it's too loud, I'm trying to hold it as much as I can so it makes less noise. But it's two hits right here. That's shoulder, shoulder, then accent shoulder. Okay? Now, you can practice that with a cowbell as well, but having that in mind, so, alright? That will really give you the musicality you're looking for and not just the movement. It really doesn't mean a lot. For practice in the beginning, without the legs, if you don't want, you can just move to the side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lift up slightly the leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. And go back to the basic with your partner. I hope you guys like this one. It's a broken down explanation. I know I don't do a lot of these ones. Usually I just put combinations of footwork. But I really wanted to break this down because when people hear the cowbell, it really helps them understand where that power accent is. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right? Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment and rate. Share the video if you like it. And I'll see you on the next one.